Dancing at Lunasa is one of those plays that's considered maybe one of the you know great Irish plays of the last you know 50 years. The days and weeks of harvest that followed were known as the Festival of Lunasa. It has become a classic. It is certainly uh, one of Brian Friel's uh, greatest uh, works. Dancing at Lunasa is a beautiful play. Uh, the writing is more like poetry. It uh, follows uh, one specific summer of uh, five sisters' lives, narrated by uh, one of the sisters' children. And it just tells of a summer where everything changed for them. The Irish are, are big into harvest festivals and they're in honor of this pagan god, Lou. They yearn to go to this festival of Lunasa to go dance, um, and the oldest, Kate, is not for that. She thinks that their time has passed and it's embarrassing. It's an embarrassment and it's sacrilegious almost to dance, but they still feel this need to dance and to have fun, so they do that within the comfort of their home. I can't despair me a sweet word of love. Some students came to me with the idea that they would uh, form an Irish band and, and they've rehearsed all these songs and so before the play and intermission they're going to be performing some wonderful Irish music live. I grew up with Irish music and when I had the opportunity to play Irish music for an Irish play um, I haven't played music like this since I came out of high school. It'll create such a great feel right before the show and right during intermission. It's truly a theatrical experience that you can only really experience live in a theater. So if you want this special opportunity to see one of the great Irish plays of all time, you ought to come see this play. Come see the show. It opens February 18th. I'm very excited for it.